I miss the smell of clean air. I live in a place that's supposed to be the lung of the earth with 100 million hectares of rainforest. But unfortunately, every year, 100 million tons of CO2 emissions are emitted from burning agri-crop waste. For me personally, creativity is about not just seeing problems and just giving up, but try to look for solutions. We are MYCL. Let me show you how we turn agroforestry waste into a sustainable alternatives for leather made out of mushroom mycelium. The first one that I met is actually Anissa. We have been friends since junior high school. Areka, I know him since childhood. Uh, what, who, me? <laughs> okay. Adi is my classmate. I was invited by others, actually. So yeah, it's all tangled up. <laughs> the one thing that connects us is innovation excites us. For us, the future technology should be sustainable technology. When you burn crops, the smoke itself is one of the main cause of respiratory diseases. Watching my daughter struggle to breathe, it was very exhausting. My son got pneumonia twice uh, in a year, so uh, I'm very passionate to do something to decrease the air pollution. So, we saw problems and opportunities as two sides of the same coin. We asked the farmers not to burn their waste, but sell it to us, so we can process it to grow a leather-like materials with mushrooms. Even my parents like doesn't really understand what I do. Like, yo, you're mushroom farmers, okay? Okay, you're mushroom farmers. <laughs> we actually get the inspiration from tempe. Tempe is Indonesian traditional food, soybeans bonded with mushroom mycelium. So we use similar concept, but we replace the soybeans with agroforestry waste. We mix it up with water. We pour the mushroom spores inside, and then we let them sit for a couple of weeks. And then once it's become thick enough, we can actually peel it off. We make sure that the fungi is dead. We put moisturizer to keep it flexible. We do uh, coatings as well to keep the abrasion strength more durable. And then voila, afterwards you have your mylia. So we can create any wearable objects that usually use leather. We can replace it with mylia. It looks like leather, it's natural like leather, but it's not leather, it's mycelium. It's better. We have hundreds of artisans, designers around the world using our products. Jadi tim R&D kami langsung melihat, ya ini sesuatu yang punya nyawa. Ada nyawa di mana material ini uh, unik, mungkin one of a kind di Indonesia atau di dunia, yang tidak mungkin bisa ditiru atau dipunyai oleh material yang lain. We have an indirect beneficiary from the farmers selling agri-crop waste. So, soalnya kan jadi nantinya nggak ada dampak kebakaran. Kalau sebelum gabung kan ada ini nih, ada di bawah. Nah, sesudah gabung sama di sini, Alhamdulillah. We want these materials to be affordable and available for all. So they, we can create greater impacts, not only for the environment, but also for the society. We see that we only scratching the surface. The beauty of this mycelium technology is we can create more and more new innovations to save the planet. Because this is all of our planet, we need to be thinking about how can we solve this huge problems by collaborating with each other. We all believe that mushroom can save the world. Yeah.